Let's talk about something that doesn't get talked about a lot, and that's using a knee lever and your seventh string uh, to play an elegant one, six minor, four, five chord progression. We're gonna be in the key of G, so that's G, E minor, C, and D. Let me play it for you, and then we'll break it down. Okay, so let's talk about the knee lever. The, the knee lever we're going to be using is the one that takes your E notes, strings four and eight, and lowers them a half tone from E to E flat. Sounds like this. On my guitar, it is my right knee moving left. Could be the same on your guitar, maybe different. Just find the knee lever that creates that action. Okay. So we start out on the one chord, which is a G, no pedals at the third fret, and here's the lick we're going to play. That strings eight, six, five, one, three, four. Okay, then we're going to move up to the E minor or the 6 minor, fret 8, engage that knee lever, and we're going to play the same string uh, sequence. That's 8, 6, 5, 1, 3, 4. So between the 1 and the 6 minor or the G and the E minor, here's what it sounded like. The four chord is going to be found at fret one. This is a C. It's another way of playing it. This is where the seventh string comes in. Engage the knee lever, and we're going to be hitting strings eight, seven, and five, releasing the knee lever and re-engaging it. It's creating a suspended chord and then resolving. And then for the five chord of the D, we're just going to move it to fret three play the same string sequence. It's going to be eight, seven, five with a knee lever in. Release it. Re-engage it. And then the last move is a C to a G. Sounds like this. We're hitting string 10 open and then we're depressing uh, the A pedal. Hitting string eight, and then hitting string six, the B pedal is already down, and then releasing the A and the B pedal, and that's giving you the G. Okay, so everything sounded like this. Now one reason I really like using this particular way of playing that progression is I do a lot of recording and there are times when the steel guitar and the guitar and, and uh, you know another instrument they start to uh, uh, like rub on each other. There's, there's unwanted tension or unwanted uh, friction. I found that this particular way of playing a 1, 6 minor, 4, 5 keeps me in my own lane and allows the steel uh, to be out on its own little island and contributing to the spirit of the song more than just trying to play uh, the same chord inversions that the guitar players are playing. Uh, here's, here's what I'm talking about. So if normally if I'm on a G, we're playing uh, fret three, open, no, uh, no pedals, right? And then normally to go to the six minor, we're just, we're already here. So it's like, let's just take the A pedal and uh, play the E minor there, right? I mean, it's cool, but I really like 
reaching up and grabbing this E minor with the uh, knee lever depressed up on the eighth fret. Listen to how it sounds. It starts to give it this real haunting type sound, which is cool. You also find all those old Hank Williams, uh, like train style steel notes up in here. I mean, it's, it's really a beautiful way to play that six minor. And then uh, I really uh, love playing the four chords in this position where we're using that seventh string with the knee lever engaged because it gives me that suspended uh, type sound where I can take my knee lever and I can uh, in between these two, you know, the four and the five. 